Hello, you beautiful yogis, paddleboarders, water sports people. This is going to be a beautiful short flow to prepare you to go out paddling. So really what this is going to focus on is strength and mobility through the shoulders, a little bit of balance because we're going to need that when we're on our boards, and a little bit of strength as well. It's going to be a nice short flow just to get you ready before you go out. I wouldn't try all these moves if you're going out on a paddleboard because they're quite difficult, but they're really nice ones to work on when you're on um, solid ground and that can really help kind of take your paddling a little bit further. So when you're ready, come and hop onto your mat. We're gonna start standing at the front edge of our mats. So just taking a step to the front edge of your mat today. We'll take a moment just to ground down through the feet, stand nice and tall, just soften the shoulders, and just connect really with the ground beneath you. So just find that nice sense of stability and foundation through the feet. Nice, just bring the arms down by our sides, palms face up. And we'll take a nice big inhale in, and just a nice big breath out to begin. Beautiful. Soften the knees, inhale and reach the fingertips all the way up towards the sky. As we exhale, we're gonna float those hands down towards the earth. So just warming up the body here with some half sun salutations. Inhale, find halfway, heart lifts, hands maybe coming to those shins. And then as you exhale, take a fold, release it down. Inhale, fingertips reaching up, palms come together. And as we exhale, just draw the hands towards the heart. Let's go again. This time, take a nice big inhale in, fingertips reaching up. Gonna take hold of the right wrist. You're gonna really reach up towards the sky and then reach over towards that left side. Nice, as we inhale, reach it up and then take the other hand. So taking hold of the left wrist and then reaching up and over towards the right. So finding this nice stretch through the side body, try and keep those hips facing towards the front of your mats. Nice, as we inhale, bring it back through center. Exhale, take that nice big fold. Inhale, find halfway, the heart lifts, gaze comes forward. And as we exhale, take a fold and release. Inhale, fingertips reaching up. Palms come together, exhale, hands to heart. This time, let's take the hands behind. So interlacing the fingers, drawing the shoulder blades together. Just taking a moment to open up through the heart and the chest today. Take a breath. Keep browning down through those feet. And then as we exhale, we're going to fold. So keeping the hands behind us. Just coming into this nice fold, you can soften the knees here. Just let the hands fall a little further overhead. Just working into the shoulders. So maybe just taking a little bit of time to wiggle yourself from side to side. And then maybe here, just bending through that right knee a little further. So right shoulder to right knee as you open up into this twist. Nice. Bring it back to center. Take it the other side. So left shoulder to left knee. Beautiful. Bring it all the way back to center. Hands release to the lower back and then fingertips reach down towards the air. Lovely. From here, as we inhale, find halfway again. So maybe those hands again come to those shins. And then as you exhale, take a fold, let it go. Nice, we're gonna take a step back with the right foot, drop the right knee, release the right toes. Inhale, fingertips sweep up, finding that low lunge, just hug that right thigh forward. Take a moment here. As we exhale, the elbows draw wide, finding those cactus arms, so spread the fingers, elbows draw back. Almost think about the tips of the shoulder blades starting to draw together. And then as we exhale, we're gonna take that left arm over the right. So finding our eagle arms here, and this is gonna really start to work into the back of the body, so in between the shoulders. Maybe the palms come together, maybe the backs of hands come together. Keep nice and strong through the legs, so keep pressing down through that left foot, drawing the lower belly in. Elbows draw up and away, we start to create a little bit more space in between the shoulder blades. So obviously when we're paddling, our shoulders are doing a lot of work. So I want to make sure that they're nice and strong, they're nice and mobile. So all of these are going to help. Nice. So just take a breath here. Imagine the breath moving from front to back of body. So you're filling that space. One more lovely breath. 
and then slowly release. Elbows come out, find your cactus arms. Exhale, down towards the floor. Hands either side of the front foot, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, and then step the left foot back to find your downward facing dog. So take a moment or two here just to connect those points of the body towards the earth. So spread the fingers, press the ground away. Maybe the toes or the heels are on the ground. Just take a couple of breaths, relax the head and neck, tailbone reaching high. Maybe paddling out the feet here a little bit just to work into the back of the body again. So hamstrings and the calves. Beautiful. Breathe. And then just bring it back to a little place of stillness here. So tailbone's reaching high. You've got tight hamstrings here, bending those knees, giving yourself that little bit of additional space in your downward facing dog. Nice, and then from here, take a moment. Relax the head and neck, take a lovely big deep breath. And then we're gonna step the right foot in between the hands. So right foot steps through, left knee drops down, release the toes. Inhale, fingertips are gonna reach all the way up towards the sky. So fingertips sweeping up. Exhale, elbows draw wide, find those cactus arms. So again, just take a moment here, elbows drawing back. Nice, and we're gonna find that lovely eagle arm position. This time the right arm coming over the left. See if you can wrap it round. Maybe the palms or backs of hands come together. Elbows draw up and away and you just start to create a little bit of space in between the shoulder blades. Nice, so just start to breathe here. And really imagine that breath moving into the back of the body. So moving into the back of the heart space. Keep nice and strong through the legs. That front knee still in line with that front ankle. Just keep drawing the belly in. Take one more lovely big deep breath and release, elbows draw wide, spread the fingers, open up through the chest. As we exhale, hands come down towards the earth. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, and then step your right foot back, back to your downward facing dog. Breathe. Spread the fingers nice and wide, pressing away through the base of the palm, the thumb, the index finger, and just relax the head. Lovely. Okay, walk the feet a little closer together. As you inhale, see if you can reach the right toes up behind you. Keep the hips facing towards the front edge of the mat. As we exhale, we're going to see if we can just draw that knee to nose. So just starting to build a little bit of strength through the core. Really important to build strength here to help us balance a little better. Take one more lovely breath and then step that left foot in between the hands. Nice, finding high lunge. So again, finding that balance here, pressing out through the back heel as you reach the fingertips up towards the sky. So super strong through the back leg. Take a breath, soften the shoulders. Nice. Okay, we're gonna find those eagle arms again. So elbows draw wide. Lovely, from here we're gonna take that right arm over the left. Bring the palms together, elbows draw up and away. Breathe. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of fun here, finding a little bit of balance, obviously really important when you're out on your paddle board. So pressing down through that front foot, see if you can start to reach the hands forward, keeping them in the eagle arm position, pressing out through the left heel. Warrior three. Nice, take one more lovely big deep breath. And then from here, let's bend through the right knee, keeping that left foot off the ground. See if you can draw that left knee up towards the chest. Nice, we're gonna see if we can find those eagle legs. So taking the left thigh over the right, see if you can wrap the left toes behind. Squeeze the thighs together, sit down. Nice, elbows drawing away. Take one more breath and then slowly release. The legs release, the arms release. Give yourself a nice little shake out. Okay, we're gonna to come to do that on the other side. So when you're ready, take a nice big inhale in, fingertips reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, float those hands all the way down as you fall. Inhale, halfway, hands to shins. Find that nice extension through the spine. 
As you exhale, fold. From here, take a moment, step the left foot, then the right foot back. Just come back into your downward facing dog. Just take a couple of breaths, spread the fingers nice and wide, tailbone reaching high. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. So feet a little closer together. Inhale, left toes reach up. Again, keep the hips squaring towards the front of your mat. Relax the head and neck. Nice, as we exhale, knee to nose. So it's almost as we're coming into that plank, shoulders drawing in line with the wrists, knee draws towards the nose. Hold here for one breath. Keep pressing the ground away. And then step that left foot through. Nice, as we inhale, fingertips reach all the way up towards the sky. Take a breath here. Lovely, as we exhale, elbows draw wide, spread the fingers. Nice, this time take the left arm over the right, wrap it round, find your eagle arms here. Palms together, elbows drawing up and away. Okay, little balance challenge for you now. So pressing the left foot down, see if you can reach forward with those hands, crown of the head reaching forward, have a little wobble if you need to. Press away through that right heel, nice and strong through the back leg as you find your warrior three. Take a breath, and then slowly bend through the left knee. Right knee draws up towards the chest. And then crossing that right leg over the left, find your eagle legs. See if you can wrap that uh, right toes around the left leg. Squeeze the thighs, sit down a little bit more. Building a bit of fire, elbows draw away. Take one more breath. And then slowly release, release the legs, release the arms. Give yourself a little shake out. Woo. Okay, so from here, take a nice big inhale in, fingertips reach up towards the sky. Nice, as we exhale, we're gonna start to come onto the tiptoes. So again, finding a little bit of balance, working into the feet and the ankles, building strength here. From here, squeezing the thighs together, you're gonna bend the knees, and you're gonna bring yourself all the way down towards the earth. So see if you can do it nice and controlled, and really work on squeezing the thighs together, because that is what's gonna help you to maintain a little bit of balance on your paddleboard. There's a nice sense of control. Especially when you're on an unstable surface like water. Okay, as we exhale, drawing the bottom back towards the mat. Lift the feet, we're gonna come straight into our boat pose. So lift the feet off the mat. Maybe flexing the feet, drawing the belly in. You can always hold underneath the thighs if that feels a little better. Otherwise, reaching the fingertips out. Keep drawing the belly in, lifting the heart. Take another breath. Maybe you're straightening the legs here if you're really feeling this. Take one more lovely big deep breath. And then exhale, release. Bend the knees, hug it in. Beautiful, guys. Okay, take a moment to roll all the way down onto your mat. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Little rock, and then take the hands underneath those thighs. We're gonna take a few rock and rolls all the way back and forth on the spine. Okay, let's build a little bit of momentum. We're gonna roll all the way up to stand without putting our hands down. So when you're ready, see if you can roll all the way up. Palms together, exhale, hands draw down towards the heart. Okay, I hope you are ready to head out on your paddleboard or onto the water. This is a really nice one to come back to just to build a little bit of strength and warmth, mobility through the shoulders um, and the rest of the body just fires you up. Hope you enjoyed this guys and I will see you again very soon, hopefully on our paddleboards. Namaste.